Thank you so much, uh, Senator Merkley. Uh, thanks to the witnesses. Uh, I, I rarely in life agree with Senator Tom Cotton. Um, I'm pretty much in full agree with, agreement with him today. So with that, um, let, let me let me start with you, Mr. Holyoke, and I'm going to I'm going to give you a hypothetical, and I'm going to pick a completely random American city for this. Um, imagine there were a major sporting event in the city of Los Angeles, and yeah. You knew that the state of California was holding hundreds of thousands of LGBTQ Americans, Jewish Americans, and African Americans in concentration camps. And you further knew that even those LGBT Jewish American and African Americans living in California who were lucky enough not to be in concentration camps were going to be barred by the state of California from attending the sporting event uh, in Los Angeles and booking uh, Airbnb accommodations. Would you sponsor that event? Thank you, sir, for the question. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's appropriate to weigh in on a hypothetical. What I, what I can share with you is that, you know, human rights are, is core to our values and our, and our, and our mission. Um, you know, discrimination is absolutely no place on our platform. And, and we take a number of steps to, with our hosts and our guest community, to require them to com commit to our community commitment principles. So you're not you're not willing to say that you wouldn't participate in a sporting event in the United States if hundreds of thousands of Jewish Americans in that state were being held in concentration camps. All you're willing to say is human rights are core to your values, but you won't apply those values to that kind of situation. I mean, I, I know the answer to this question. The answer to this question is you would absolutely not participate in that kind of event if it was in the state of California or anywhere in the United States. I mean, that's absolutely plainly obvious. Do you disagree with me? So, I mean, as, as I stated, you know, human rights is core to, to our, our mission and our values. Um, where, we, you know, where we see discrimination occurring on our platform, we, we take the appropriate actions. Right, well, okay, where you see it occurring on your platform, but are, are you aware of the fact, Mr. Holyoke, that in China, you can't stay in, in accommodations, whether a hotel or an Airbnb, if you don't have a passport issued by the government, an identification document? Are you aware that uh, the Chinese government denies those documents to Uyghurs and Tibetans and that they are therefore unable to actually stay at your accommodations in Beijing for these games? Thank you, sir, for, for the question. Um, so obviously we operate in 220 countries and regions around the world, uh, everywhere that the U.S. government allows us to. We believe our platform is about building bridges between cultures around the world. Are China. you aware of what I just said to be a fact? Are you aware of it? In China, you are, we are required to file, follow local laws and regulations. However, all of our users um, are required to commit to our community commitment principles. And where how, can, how, can they commit, how, they, how can they commit to not discriminate if, if persons of those ethnicities can't even show up at their door? Because we, that's the policy of the government. We regularly scan. Uh, for hosts and listings on our platform that are discriminatory against minorities. I'm not asking about the hosts and listings. I'm asking about the policy of the government which effectively prohibits those people from staying. And again, think about my California example. If the state prohibited Jewish Americans from staying in your properties, would you still run a business in that jurisdiction? Sir, thank you for the question. Our, our policies do not require hosts to violate local laws. Uh, in some cases, I do understand hosts receive guidance from local authorities, but they may not host guests from outside mainland China. Understand. So you're you're just completely absolving yourself of responsibility for 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 being complicit in abject discrimination. Um, Mr. Lawley, let me let me go back to you here because but I have, I have huge respect for the stand that Coca-Cola has taken on domestic civil rights issues. I guess in that respect, I do differ with, with Senator Cotton. Um, and I understand why you might not want to um, echo a legal determination on whether genocide is happening in China. But you know, are you willing to say that you condemn the Chinese government's policy 
of holding hundreds of thousands of people in concentration camps because of their ethnicity and religion, whether we call that genocide or not? Commissioner, uh, we condemn uh, any violations of human rights. Our policy is absolute and clear on that. Uh, we no, 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 not any violations of human rights. Do you specifically condemn that violation of human rights? We condemn all violations of human rights, and we respect the so reports. You do not that condemn. Do not condemn the Chinese practice, Chinese government's practice of holding hundreds of thousands of people in concentration camps. You're not willing to say that. Yes or no? Back to our to our clear policy on this, we respect all human rights and condemn any abuses. Our role as a sponsor is to try to embed these fundamental principles in the mega sporting events. And I would say that there has been progress in that space, but there's much more to be done. I, I'm absolutely, I, I just think this is stunning. Um, again, you are absolutely right to condemn voting laws in the United States that uh, that make it harder for people to vote. You never in those cases said, well, we condemn any and all voter suppression. You signed letters condemning specific legislation. I understand and respect your point that the United States is special to you because this is your country. But I would also submit to you that genocide is a human rights abuse of such magnitude that when it is occurring in a country where you not only do business, but you are sponsoring an event that is beneficial to the, the government of that country, that you have a particular responsibility. And it is absolutely clear to me that the only reason you are not doing so is because you know for a fact that if you simply uttered the words, you condemn the Chinese government's policies, that you would be subject to a campaign organized by the Chinese government that would undermine your ability to make a profit in that country. You are afraid of them in a way that you are not afraid of critics in the United States. I think that's shameful. And I yield back my time. Thank you.